Hi everyone, it's Money Saving Coupon Gal and I have a big Dollar Tree haul to show you today. I went yesterday to the large Dollar Tree store that isn't too close to my house but I was out in that area and then I went to the one that's close to my house today and picked up a few more items. So um, let's get started. Okay, this is what I picked up today. I got some Emerald's Panko breadcrumbs. I didn't even know that he had his own Panko breadcrumbs, but apparently he does, so I thought I would try these. I just watched a recipe on chicken strips, and I think I'm gonna make some for um, dinner one night since we don't, oops, since we don't, um, by frozen meat like that so I'm gonna make some and as you saw there is a baked chicken panko um, recipe on the back of the box so that was one and then I saw this coconut cooking spray and I been wanting to try this and I finally found it because coconut supposed to be so good for you and I wanted to um, give it a try and see how it goes so I picked that up and then I picked up some, sorry, a piece of hair or something, um, a bag of dipped pretzel chips, and it says pretzel crackers dipped in a chocolate flavoring. And as you can see, these were normally $3 at Deal Store, and the one I went to today used to be a Deal Store, but now it is a Dollar Tree store. And I did check the expiration date to make sure that it wasn't expired, and they're not. So I thought I would try these out. And what else did I get today? I got um, I got some Spick and Span, the Everyday Antibacterial Spray Cleaner. I wanted to try this out. I picked this up for the kitchen to, um, to clean in there. So I'm going to see how it does. If it does good, I'll be buying some more. And let me see. Okay. that may be all that I got today um, I'm not sure but anyways I'm going to show you everything and then I showed you the other day where I got a, a uh, birthday bag for Duke for his birthday which is on the 29th of this month and it said top dog well I saw this one yesterday and I couldn't pass it up Tyson's birthday is until September 29th but um, I picked this up and you see it says chill out on your special day. I like the glitter, but what I like most is that it's got a little chocolate lab on there, which looks like our chocolate lab Tyson. So this will be his birthday bag. And the other side doesn't have the glitter or anything, but that's okay. It's glitter on this side. And yeah, you could see the whole picture. I just thought this was adorable. So I had to pick it up. And then of course it has the little tag you can write on it. And then, um, you know how I am with their Buff Puffs. I always have to pick some up when I go. But this time, I got a couple uh, of different ones. These have sponges, little sponges inside of them. So I'm excited to try these and see, like, does it help with the soap or, you know, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure why there's little sponges in there to be honest with you if any of you know maybe you can write it down in the comments and let me know but I picked up a blue one and a purple one and so it's time to change so I think I'm going to try these before the other ones just to see how um, they differ from the ones without the sponges in them and then I also picked up uh, oh here so let's see, I'm missing a lot of items. The truth is, I'm having the worst luck today. Um, well, yesterday, you know, if you watched my Ipsy video, well, probably haven't cut, well, I, it, it should be uploaded by the time this video is, but I um, did the video yesterday and afterwards found out that nothing focused. None of the items focused. So I had to redo that one today. And then I just did this haul went to upload it and got too much in a hurry and I have a Mac and you can do it to your photos iPhotos and ended up deleting it by accident before it uploaded to the computer 
So I'm having to do this one again. So that is why I have the same clothes on and set the same video because I'm having to redo both. So anyways, um, I also picked up two of two boxes of the chewy peanut butter and chocolate chip um, granola bars. There's six in a box. I'm not sure if how many used to be in there before because now it says because it says now with six on there. But these are good. They're a good little snack thing. And um, my husband and I both like those. So I picked up two boxes. And then I got two of the Flips milk chocolate covered pretzels. I picked up two of these also because I don't see these all the time. And I know that I bought these before at Publix, which is our grocery store, if you're not familiar with it. And I got them really cheap with coupons and with the sale and stuff. But normally, they're, I think they're like three something a bag. So a dollar a bag, I got two of these. And they also had them in white chocolate, but we like the, the milk chocolate, so I got that. And then I got another of the LA Colors No Sharpen Eyeliner in black. I been using this the last couple of days because my IT Cosmetics um, eyeliner, actually I had gotten a... Um, a kit, I would say, you know, a couple, I think there was eyeliner, mascara, um, face powder, a couple items in there off of QVC and it was on auto delivery. And for some reason the eyeliner just keeps, um, I don't know what, what it is, but it won't go on my eye anymore. And it's, I've tried wiping it off. I've tried, you know, using it on my hand or something to get it going. I don't know what it is and it's been each one of those eyeliners it's not just one so I have multiple of them and they haven't been working so it's upsetting because obviously they're not a dollar they're not cheap so and they're it's a long eyeliner that's just going in the garbage and it's sad because I really like it cosmetics so anyways I picked up the LA colors before this is a self sharpening one and it actually um, goes on nice I like it so I picked up a second one to throw in my makeup bag in my purse. And then they had um, the special Wet n Wild Bonus Value Limited Edition Nail Polish Sets. And let's see if I can shake them up. They don't have the name on them. I didn't open them all because I wanted you to see how they come. They don't have names on them, so I don't know if it's on the other side. Um, on the top, all it says is Pro Brush Manicure Curve, Manny Curve. So I don't know if you can see that, what that says. And then it has numbers on the bottom, but it doesn't um, say any color or anything. So I don't know if it says it on the back or if it says it at all, but I haven't opened them. So the first one I got is like a pink glitter with like kind of like a pear color green I would say reminds me of like a pear so I got this I'm not sure why they how they came about putting the colors together if it's they think they would look good together or you know I'm not sure but anyways I like both these colors so I picked this one up and then the second one I got is um now these i think the colors go together it's like a when you, the light hits it, it looks like a, a royal blue and then like a frosted orange kind of reminds me of like sherbet ice cream and so these two together and i really like both of those colors and this i would wear like on my nails and then do like the accent nail in the orange orange on this side okay the orange so I would do because blue is one of my favorite colors I love blue nail polish so I would definitely put those two together and then this one I got I also think goes good together and it is a um, like a purple glitter and a rose frost frosted rose color and I think those are pretty together also I'm hoping you're able to see the see what the colors look like and stuff if not, I'll um, take pictures and insert them. But as you can see, they all say bonus value and limited edition. Because normally each bottle is a dollar at the um, at the store. And then this one I picked up for Christmas. This is like a ruby red and an emerald green, and I thought it was perfect for Christmas time. 
this would definitely get used around the holidays. I love those two colors together. So that was it on the nail polish. Let me put all this back in here. And um, I also got some uh, an item that I've been looking for for I would say a long time, but for a couple weeks. Um, I saw someone had these in their video and I just just was like, oh, I gotta find me some of those. So what I got was a two pack of the Magnetic 10s. Now I've seen people got one 10 and then it was filled with um, like the colored paper clips. And also there was a package with one 10 and it had the, um, the binder clips, you know, the black where you flip the silver part over on it and stuff, the metal ones. But I didn't need either one of those um, office supplies. I wanted the two plain empty ones. So I got these and actually I picked up five packages of these. So I picked up five and not sure yet what I'm going to use them for, but um, you can definitely use them in the kitchen to put spices in. And I just recently picked up one of those metal, um, metal bars that you can put on the wall or whatever to put your knives on, the magnetic bar. You could definitely do that with these. That was really cheap. I think it was $5 at Ikea I paid for that. I bought it for the knives. But you could definitely pick up a couple of those, put some spices in here, and use this as a spice rack. Or use these to you know, put it on the wall and use it as a spice rack. Um, you can use these as the office supplies. Like I told you how they also come. You could put like your bobby pins in here, you know, use it in the bathroom, just little things. I would even buy one of those magnetic strips and probably some of these will go in the bathroom and I will um, put my little items in there that I use. Like I said, the little, you know, bobby pins, the, the hair ties, stuff like that. This is perfect to hold them all in one place. So, like I said, I picked up five of those, so I have ten of those, and I was almost tempted to get more, to be honest with you, just because I just think there's so many uses for these that I, I'm afraid that I'll go back and there won't be any more. So, next thing I got was two of these baskets. I picked up two in the blue. Um, if you saw in my previous video, I picked up one of these. It wasn't as wide, it was narrower, and I used it in, I said I was gonna use it in the refrigerator to put small items in, and I picked up two of those, and I've used that. And I have to tell you, it's been great. Just the short time I've had it, I've several times I went to go find like, you know, half an onion that I had in there, or, you know, the, you know, sometimes when you make a dinner, I have like a little bit of um, sauce left over. I put it in, put a jar, put it in a small container. Now I can put it in here and I find it. everything I've been looking for, I've been finding. Um, those chocolate covered cherries that I bought, I keep those in the refrigerator. I put them in there. So little things that you can't find in your refrigerator, these baskets are great to put it in. Um, I got blue again because the other ones I only found in blue, so I stayed with blue. I think I'm going to use these since they're bigger, put some more items in there. I have to say that I think it's just great. I'm, they, I would not have thought about it before, and it, but I'm glad I thought about it now because for a dollar and to keep you organized in your refrigerator, it's just, um, it's just great, I think. I um, I like these. They're like the little woven um, design. And um, actually, I have um, recently, I purchased some items from a lady that was having to move out of her apartment because she um, had lost her job. And she was selling a lot of her stuff really cheap. And she, was, she threw away a lot of stuff. And she had given me a... A bag full of like fake bread and stuff something like this would be cute to put that bread in I haven't done anything with it yet but I might get um, a different color or something I wish they had these like in brown and everything because then it would kind of look like wicker but anyways there's just so many uses for these baskets as you can see where is it right up there I have um, if you can see I have a bunch of baskets I bought from there I'm always pulling one out using it for something I just love the baskets that they have. 
and I have to say I was very good today because you know and I still have a bunch of these these bins they had three open three of these bins opened full of bins in plastic still in the package in all the colors probably if I'd known they were going to keep getting them I thought they were kind of like an Easter thing I would have tried to get one color but I picked up so many different colors but it's all behind me you can see my stockpile it works I don't care what color they are that I like the bright cherry color so anyways I got two of these and I bought a a roll of paper towels and I got a bottle of the totally ooh, that wasn't screwed on that's not good um a the la's totally awesome ultra deluxe liquid dish detergent in the lavender and it smells good if you haven't figured it out by now by my videos i love the smell of lavender so i picked up one of these and this is 50 fluid ounces so it's big i haven't tried it yet i got the other one i think it was the spring or uh scent or something i haven't tried either one because i still have a bottle of my um regular detergent that i'm using in there but i'm definitely going to try these and see how they are with the dishes and stuff because sometimes i don't think i like sudsy i like my dish you know, when I put soap in there and run the water, I want it to be nice and sudsy. I feel like it's not getting clean if it if it doesn't. And I think it's palm olive that I'm using that doesn't really do that. Or no, it's not palm olive. Um, who is it? Dawn? Is it? I think it's Dawn that does the Dawn, the one they clean the animals with, the little birds and everything. That one doesn't really lather up. Um, at least for me, it hasn't. And then I got some LA Totally Awesome laundry detergent. This is the fresh scent. 21 loads now I have a stockpile full of laundry detergent but I picked these up and um, because I got it less than a dollar and you'll find out in a separate video I'm going to do to show you how you can get items at the Dollar Tree for less than a dollar without using coupons so you know this is um, probably one of their brands and they don't have coupons for them but I got it for less than a dollar so Anyways, I use like the kind of the off-brand detergent to sometimes wash like rugs in or the pet bed covers and stuff like that. So anyways, I picked that up and I believe, I'm looking around me, I have so much stuff in here. Um, I believe that was it. There was quite a bit that I got this time. It was two hauls, but um, I was looking for a couple more items to get at a reduced price and um, I didn't have any luck um, finding more than what I did yesterday but I did get um, several items for I think some were only 50 cents and some were 75 cents but anyways I'm going to show you how you can do that if you're interested in saving more money when you go to the Dollar Tree no clipping coupons no um, looking for ads to do it nothing I'm going to show you how you can do it and um, save some more money which we all want to do I'm sure so anyways this was my haul I hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did please click like and subscribe and also share my videos um, I know I said before I'm trying to get my channel up and going again I was doing it I started in 2011 and then I had stopped in 2012 actually around this time in 2012 uh, when my father-in-law passed away my mother-in-law came to live with us she has Alzheimer's so I wasn't able to do it and now um, I just started up again towards the end of last year and she still lives with us but the, our situations we're kind of in the groove now after all these years and it's changed a little but anyways um, so now I'm trying to build up my channel again so I'd appreciate any shares or um, that you can give to get get me more subscribers help me get more subscribers I would appreciate it so thanks everyone for watching my videos bye